Bangerator. We're gonna stay focused and we're gonna get banger in. Normally, and maybe this is you too, right? Check your cell phone a lot. Get, take maybe a few, too many trips to the water fountain. Uh, today, my phone is over there. I said, Kevin, I'm not checking my phone. I'm gonna stay focused on the workout. We're gonna get it in. 45, 60 minutes of all out intent. Right, when we're in here, we wanna be intentional with our workouts. What are we training? Legs, what's the goal? Gain strength, increase lean muscle tissue, burn fat, and ultimately have fun. Right, we have to have fun. So, for those people that are in my shred right now, there's a couple of you that are like, oh my gosh, I'm gassed, I'm fatigued, I'm, you know, I'm hurting. You gotta take a step back. Your body's telling you to chill. Right, this is my second workout this week. Why? Because I was listening to my body. My body said, chill, Michael. Right, you got a little tension here, a little tightness and a little soreness in my shoulder. My body's telling me to chill out. You have to listen to your body. And if your nutrition is dialed in, right, if you're on one of our custom meal plans or you're in our shred right now and you're following that meal plan, the nutrition is gonna do the heavy lifting. Right, you can't out-train a bad diet. I didn't say that, right? That is the truth. That is the reality. And so train when you can. And if you just started training and you're just getting back into it, don't overcommit. Right, simplify it. Move a little bit more than you did yesterday. Let the, let the nutrition do the heavy lifting. All right, here we go, guys. Goal here isn't to work too hard, open up the chest, drive through, pretend like you're ripping that bar apart up at the top, right? Stretch out, hamstrings. Oh, you get a few at the end. Who's on the track? So I'm doing 30 to 40 yards down and back. You don't need to do that much, right? Play around with it. This is all depending on how long you've been training, strength, a lot of different factors in here. The goal here now is, right, just move a little faster. Second exercise, I call these non-working sets. You're working through them, but it's more to prime the muscles, so, so to speak, right? To get ready for leg day. We're stretching, we're opening our hips up, opening up our shoulders, even though we're not gonna do shoulders. Opening the body up, letting the, the air, letting us breathe, so to speak. Putting some blood into the muscles, getting blood flow, getting our energy ready and primed for the workout. So here's the glute bands, all right, our hip max glute bands. I think if you're watching this, there'll be a link below. These things are unbelievable. Great glute activation. You get it in areas, you hit the glute in areas that no machine, no piece of equipment can because of the unilateral direction, right? You can go left to right, you can go back, you can go forward, right? There's, come back against the wall. And I'll show you guys in just a second, you come back against the wall, right? If you wanna fire the outside glute here, the one that makes your butt look nice and big and full, right? Right there, that's contracted, so. For the warm up, I'm doing side steps, right? Get nice and low. Chest stays nice and tall. Step out. Ten steps aside. Let's go. And back. Now, if you don't have this much space, you can easily do left, right, left, right. Totally fine. All right. In fact, your knee burn more like that. So I get a lot of questions on pre-workout, intra-workout, how do I stay full of energy? How do I make the most out of my workouts? How do I sustain energy, right? These long, longer, grueling workouts, especially on leg day. And in here, I've got BCAAs, one and a half scoops, and I've also got XL, which is a nucleotide, which not only increases the absorption of the BCAAs, but also pushes that barrier allows me to push that barrier, I should say, right? It extends the rate to perceived exertion, right? So I can train longer. Um, and then prior, I take something for focus and something for my metabolism. Watch the clock, right? Oftentimes, the reason why we, we fail to get a, a maximum efficient workout in is because we're resting for too long. We're going to the water fountain, we're chatting with the girl or guy. Like we're here to do a job and that's to increase our level of physical fitness, to live longer, more vibrantly, right? The, the more you do that now, the better your years later. That's what we're doing, right? So get it in while you're here. You're here for an hour. Make sure that you make that hour count. Otherwise, don't come. Come on. Ow. 
Hey, remember a little owl. A little owl is what you want. Dig right in, no rest. Right, we rest after. For those of you that train, that get tired, it's one of those moments right now. I'm tired. I'm tired. I want to quit. But uh, what's quitting ever got you? So you dig in, you find that, that happy place. Remember why you're here. Some of you got kids. Setting an example for your kids. Oh. One more. Oh. As we go into the second superset slash circuit, make sure you're hydrated. BCAAs are really, really good. If you're doing a BCAA or something intro workout, make sure there's no artificial flavors, no dyes, no fillers, no sucralose. You guys, if you're drinking performance supplements, at least so they say, they should be performance ingredients, right? All of these manufacturers say, we've got performance supplements, but their ingredients are far, are far away from being performance. Everything in what we do, no fillers, no sucralose, no dyes. If you look at our BCAs, they're clear, they're white. Listen, the cleaner the supplements, the cleaner the gains. Make sure you're hydrated during this. All right, so circuit or superset number two, we're gonna do some walking lunges with this, with this med ball, and we're gonna do something called the pit shark. Check it out. Goal is to fail again between 10 and 15 reps. So choose a weight to where you fail in that threshold. You should not be able to do a 16th rep. If you can, it's too light, put some more weight on there. chest stays nice and tall. When you're sinking down into those heels, you're coming up, right? You don't lock out all the way. I don't want you like this, right? So down, breathe, come up. You wanna come in closer, you can. If you're lacking range of motion, go ahead and point your toes out, one o'clock, 10 o'clock, right? I understand that there's a, there is a such thing as perfect or near per perfect technique but range of motion, there's a lot of different factors that play a role, all right? So as long as you've got a stable bottom, your weight is distributed throughout the balls and heels of your foot, you're sitting back with the chest up, you're gonna be in a good place. Now, right, like we did the last one, no rest. Pick up a med ball. Body, core, slam that ball. In the midst of your workout, the goal is to continue to challenge yourself, right? So if the, if the weight feels good, if you are stable, you're doing the reps correctly, your chest is up, weight, weight in the heels, right? Don't be afraid to go up a little bit. Challenge yourself, right? If it was too light and you left some on the table and you could do 16 or 17, right? Go up in the weight, go up a little bit, you're here. The goal is to be intentional with your workouts, is to stay focused, it's to grow, it's to learn, right? Increase the load, force the muscles to adapt to a bigger load. I just like this. Another quick cue, right? Some people, right, they buckle with their knees, right? You wanna force tension out. So if you've got a buddy, put your hand next to his knee and say push out during the reps, right? Not like that, but push your knees out. Sit back in the heels, push knees out, up. Ooh. All right, so question for you guys, and I need to know in the comments below, I need you to click the thumbs up. We're gonna leave this video as a little bit longer because there's lots of gold in it. There's lots of training nuggets. I believe that there's some, some ways to inspire you if you watch it all and you grab hold of the, of the nuggets but I need to know if this is a, a video that you'll continue watching, this style of training video. Leave me a comment below, let me know so that I know to spend time on these because these are time intensive, right? I've gotta have the video guy here, we've gotta edit it, I've gotta you know, slow down the workout a little bit to make sure that I give you value and also keep it entertaining and, and motivational like I said, so please in the comments below, thumbs up something to let me know that you're watching, that you love them, and that you want me to continue on with this style of training video. Love you guys so much, thanks for the attention. Last and final, it's 
actually going to be a tri set because we're going to bring some calves into this thing. So we're going to go more isolation. We're going to do a leg extension. And for those of you that have challenges with your knees, this is probably not a good exercise. Although I'm going to show you the goal is to not lock out all the way. They call these good girls, bad girls. I didn't make that up, by the way. This is one of those exercises. If you've had knee operation or knee surgery, it's probably better to stay away from, quite, quite honestly. Left side. right the three heads boom one up top and for those of you that are watching this right that maybe just started or haven't been training for a long time I want to let you know six years ago I knew nothing about training I knew nothing about fitness I had a a personal transformation and it started with doing high intensity interval training in my apartment I was stringing together renegade rows and burpees and and bird dogs and things like that this is a six-year evolution and for those of you that are following me that have the awareness right you're gonna get there so much faster but don't beat yourself up if you don't have the muscles or the definition that you want yet because if you go back on YouTube and you watch my very first video back May of 2013 you're gonna see a very different Michael, right? I've transformed so many different areas of my life, but physical fitness being the primary one, and that is what has catapulted me here to be able to share my story with you guys and motivate and inspire you to live your best life. And I'll tell you what, the spillover, the spillover benefits of, of getting fit, like physically fit, are insane. In the beginning, it's like, oh, I just want a set of abs and I wanna look good in my clothes and be more confident, but that confidence opened up, opens up so many doors, chest, puffed out, right? Chin held up high, walking with confidence because you look and feel your best. I'm not talking about the, the, the ignorant or arrogance. I'm talking about feeling really good inside your body because you did the work because you took control. That's what it's all about. You get control of this pillar of life and relationships get easier. Your career gets easier. You're gonna have more energy, right? Let's go, there's more than just looking good. Wow. So for those of you that have trouble getting your calves to grow, I want you to see my before picture. All right, back five years ago, I didn't have any calves. In fact, they didn't grow until I learned how to properly train them using tension using the eccentric phase of the motion. Now look, all right? That's proof that if you do the work the right way, you can get your muscles to grow. Now, nutrition is key, you guys know that. All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I hope that you love the workout, and if you did, hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below so I know to continue recording these. I'll do one of these every single week if I know you're watching, if I know you're finding value in them, and at the end of the day, if I know that you're motivated and inspired to move a little bit more today than you did yesterday. We're all about progress, little bits of progress. Don't overcommit. The goal is to celebrate the small wins, make little bits of progress every day, allow that to compound, and then six years from now, you're gonna be looking back and you're gonna say, damn, I did it. Let's go.